Hi guys. Now, I've been away for a little while. I'm not gonna make any excuses other than I'm back. Anyway, during our, the InDesign trivia night at the Perth InDesign user group in December, actually the 1st of December, we had quite a bit of fun working with colors and I covered a lot of different um, InDesign trivias. And for this particular one, here's the scenario that we use. So imagine you're working on a layout in InDesign and although you know that you can probably use the eyedropper tool here to soak up colors from an image and then turn these into a new color swatch and use them. What we really want to do is, you know, certainly you have this, <laughs> this urge to build a series of color swatches based on the colors found in one of the images in your layout. And I want to use this one right here because it's got a nice sort of average number of colors in there. And what I want to do is actually pick, pick about 10, 16 colors from there and build a, like a color palette that I can use as my swatches and to work on my design. So what do we need for this? The ingredients we need is obviously the placed image in InDesign, but we also will need Adobe Illustrator. So let's have a look at how we get the colors out of this image. The first step that we take, and that's just a matter of selecting the image, you have to make sure that the link is okay. So make sure you relink or update your links or um, just to make sure that they're all okay in your InDesign document. And what I want to do now is actually go to the Edit menu. And this is a feature specific to InDesign CS4, is I can actually choose which application I want to edit this particular image in. And I'm choosing Illustrator. I can hear you say, man, this is not an Illustrator file. It's a Photoshop image. I agree, it is. But what I want to do is actually bring this image into Illustrator. This is a really nice and quick way of doing that. So here we go. That's it, we're in Illustrator. Almost looks like InDesign, doesn't it? And that's the great thing that Adobe does. It makes everything look very similar, so it's easy to use. So as soon as I select an image in Illustrator, what I'll see up here in the control panel is the live trace button. Now I could just go and click it, but really I have no idea what settings it's going to be using to to use this live trace. Live trace is really what you use to convert a pixel based image into vector art. So it sort of traces the shapes and everything. I'm not really too fussed about tracing this, but what I want to do is actually use the tracing options so I can have some control over the settings that are going to be applied. And this is where there is a really nice and cool feature. I'm not going to go over all the tracing options. There are plenty of live trace tutorials out there on the internet, but we'll just focus on the things that we're looking at. So what I want to do is trace this into a color and I want to automatically build a palette of colors and I want to say go up to about 16 colors. And the most important thing that I want to do is I want to output the colors that Live Trace is going to use into my swatches panel and notice there's currently no colors in there at all. So I'm just going to click trace. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I need a new computer. I know. I can hear you think that I've asked center and nothing happened. Ha! We're here. So there's our swatches. So what I want to do now is get these solid swatches into InDesign. Hmm. Is that possible? Yes, it is. I'm going to select all of these swatches. Start by selecting the very first one here, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click the last one there so that all of them are now selected. Then from the panel menu, choose this option right here. S save swatch library as ASE dot dot dot. ASE. I can say ah, so I better not. I might upset some people. But it's an Adobe swatch exchange file and I'll just put that on the desktop here and you can see that I've just downloaded a new version of ScreenFlow in the background and we'll call it my colors for InDesign and save that so that's just a file as I hit save you will get an additional little warning that basically tells you hey you can really only transfer solid 
color swatches between the Adobe applications and in this case we're going to bring the colors from Illustrator into InDesign but you can also bring these colors into Photoshop if you want to. Let's click OK and I really don't need this document anymore. I can save, don't even need to save that. I'm going to go straight back to InDesign and bring these swatches in. Back to the swatches panel and in this case I'm going to load swatches and locate that file on the desktop the ASE file, the Adobe Swatch Exchange file, and open that. And as soon as I do that, all of those color swatches come in. And you can see I was smart enough to have an object highlighted. It's actually applied the last color already. The names are not really that meaningful. You can make them a little bit more meaningful by selecting, in this case, I'll select the bottom one, hold down the shift key, and select the top one to select that whole group. And what I could do here is go to my swatch options, and enable this option here called name with color value which basically changes the names of my swatches in InDesign to something that reads like cyan that much, yellow that much and so on. Click OK and you'll see the names are a little bit more meaningful so if you do want to have an idea a little bit more about sort of the color breakdown that you're applying. So now you can really go wild and start to have a bit of a play with some of the colors and these all originate from this image here and sort of try and find a color that you think fits in well. So that's how you can go wild with your colors from this image right here. It's, it's really a very quick tip. There's very little to it, but it's sort of really showing you how effective, effectively you can sort of integrate various Adobe applications. And in this case, that's an integration between Illustrator and InDesign and actually having an image that's originally a Photoshop file. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. See you next time. Bye.